Hello, hello, chicos. ¿Cómo estamos? How are you guys? Jorge, you had a very uh, different background today. It is it is very uh with the nature and those things, right? Ah, ya lo cambió. Ya, ya le dije que estaba bonito y lo cambió, Jorge. ¿Cómo estamos, chicos? ¿Cómo están? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Cuéntame. Hi, teacher. Hello. How was your day? Tired? Tired. You did something different or, or? With a lot of work. I imagine. May I, uh, can I ask what, what do you do? Tu trabajo, en que trabajas? Puedo preguntar si no soy muy metida. No, claro, claro que si no, al, al contrario, un gusto. Eh, abogado y notario. Admiración. Admiración. <ríe> me encantan las leyes, me fascinan las leyes. Uh, me encanta la parte de defender, me encanta derecho, derecho penal, creo que es el que más me gusta. Muy bonito, derecho penal sí. me encanta, pero no puedo leer tanto. Soy inútil para leer tanto. Es o sea, uno de los motivos por los cuales no estudié derecho, no porque sí me ah, encanta. Okay. Me encanta, pero sí sé que Muy es bastante bonito. pesadito estar revisando los sí. casos súper detallado y todo, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y aún echarse los documentos. Correcto. Yeah. Igual cualquier cosa estamos a la orden. Eso te iba a decir ahorita, te voy a, te voy a pedir un favor, porque a veces yo, lo, yo tramito mucho permiso para sacar del país. Ok. Entonces, tal vez te moleste ahí. Claro que sí. Si, si gusta, ahí le envío un mensaje para que ¿Tivo? después de la clase, para que tenga mi número. Chivísimo, thank you. Thank you, Angie, because you're a aquí. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Bien, chicos. Uh, Jorge, what is your background? Jorge, estás cambiando como 10 veces, como ya te di como 5 background. ¿Cuál es el que vamos a dejar hoy? <laughs> Ese no va a quedar. Yes. Sí, teacher, es que tengo problemas. No sé si es la cámara o la, la luz, la que mm -hmm. tengo problemas. O sea, bueno, no sé, <laughs> pero yo me desaparezco de la pantalla. No sé Mira. por qué. A mí me pasó, ¡ay, David sí se vistió! No puede ser, chicos, yo voy a poner la camisa entonces. Él ya se vistió. ¡Oh, my gosh! That looks amazing. ¡Ay, oh, hi, linda! ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, no sé si es lindo o lindo. Linda. Linda, es niña. Linda, hola, hi. preciosa. ¡Hi! ¡Hello! Uh, ¡Qué linda! ¡Hola! ¡Hola, party! Una pijama party. Él no vio el mensaje que les mandé que lo iba a cancelar hasta mañana. But you're going to use it also tomorrow. Okay, very good. También mañana okay. lo vamos a usar. Y la, la niña se ve preciosa. Te ves súper linda. Te ves súper linda, princesa. Well, guys, perfect. Today we are going to have a very calm day. As we usually do, I told you that this, this week is very nice and calm. Eh, la actividad se las cambié, chicos, porque no les logré sacar el material que les iba a pedir. Entonces, la actividad se las hubiera hecho, pero se las hubiera hecho toda así, como arrevesada. Y a mí no me gusta darles temas así como arrevesados, ya lo loco. Entonces, prefiero preparárselas bien para hacer bien el trabajo, ¿ok? So... Uh, guys, please turn on your camera. Ya vi aquí algunos que están y vamos a comenzar con la clase, ¿sí? Permítanme, chicos. El día de hoy no les voy a poner una agenda ni una presentación de PowerPoint porque hoy me voy a dedicar 100% a la plataforma y actividades de speaking, ¿ok? Entonces, hoy no hay agenda. However, if I tell you today we're going to be working literally the platform, exercises, Uh, grammar points, and we're going to see a little bit of conversation, and I'm going to give you a practice. So that's what we are going to do for today, just for let you know. Uh, let me know when you can see the presentation, uh, well, the platform in this case, guys. Can you see it already? De la ven? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sullivan, so, help me reading the lesson objective for today, please. In English. Okay, give me a second. Sure, sure. Okay, in this class, you will listen to an audio about a kernel. This will help you, you develop skills in, in listening for a specific, specific information. 
Perfect. Thank you so much. And Osnin, can you help me reading the lesson objective in Spanish, please? Hola, good evening, teacher. Eh, en esta clase escucharán un audio sobre un carnaval. Esto les ayudará a desarrollar la habilidad para escuchar información específica. Thank you. Entonces, chicos, vamos a hacer el primer ejercicio de un, eh, bueno, en este caso, de un carnival time. Y eh, listen to the audio and answer the following questions. Type in full answers. For question number two, type the number in letters. Escuche el audio y responda las siguientes preguntas. Escriba las respuestas completas. En la pregunta número dos, escriba el número en letras. Very good. Ok, Xiomar, it's fine. Entonces, chicos, acá, pongan atención, el audio se lo voy a poner tres veces. Y no voy a llenarles la plataforma. Ustedes me lo van a decir, miren, habladito. Entonces, agarren la información que puedan. Porque les voy a hacer estas preguntas y les voy a hacer más preguntas del audio. Se lo voy a poner tres veces, ¿ok? So, ¿ready, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Perfect. Let's go. Page 52. Exercise 5. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, guys, perfect. Eh, ya lo escucharon dos veces. Yo creo que ya tenemos la información, ¿verdad? Y que aprendimos del carnival, right? So I'm going to go on and ask you, what is a carnival in this case? Yo les voy a dar una recomendación para la clase de hoy. Participen, porque el primero que hable tiene derecho a, a agarrar a, a la víctima del siguiente. Osmin, let me see your... Oh, sorry, sorry. Osmin, let me see your t-shirt. Football t-shirt. Uh, in, in my case, uh, I don't know. I, I write a party. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Te estaba preguntando si es la camisa de fútbol que ibas a traer ahora. Ah, no vi el mensaje, pero igual me la puse por si acaso. De... Ay, bueno, mañana te la vas a volver a poner, ¿ok? Porque mañana sí lo vamos a hacer. Very Perfect. good, thank you. Sullivan, let's go. I, I, sorry for interrupting you. 
Let's go. Yeah, don't worry. Carnival is a celebration. So mm -hmm. I put celebration, but uh, it is incorrect. I think, yo creo, chicos, que lo que la plataforma le va a pedir es que si en el audio dice, it's a celebration that is blah, 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 blah. Creo que así se lo va a pedir, como en translate. Ok. Ok. So, guys, how long does it, does it last? For four oh. days. Four days. Four days. And when is it? When is it, guys? On February. On February. Very good. And where is it? Where? In all Brazil. In Brazil. Good. And what is the samba? It's a dancing. Samba. It's a dancing. It's a dancing, right? Raise your hand if you like dancing. Bueno, los que veo, porque hoy solo tengo tres, cuatro con cámara tengo ahora. Qué bárbaros, niños. Y de eso solo Xiomara me ha dado razón. Los demás, idos, ajá, colgados por la teacher. Bien. Um, yes, guys, basically that is the information regarding the carnival. I think that the carnival in Brazil is very important for them. Y yo creo que es uno de los eventos más importantes que tiene Río. De hecho, quiero pensar. Eh, no sé si será caro ir, imagino que va a ser carísimo ir en esas fechas. So, let me see here. Okay. Bien, chicos. Eh, ahorita voy a aprovechar porque al final de la clase vamos a hacer una actividad, pero vamos a hacer este lesson objective del día de hoy y vamos a hacer esta conversation que tenemos, ¿sí? So, um, Melissa, help me reading the lesson objective, please, in English. And Mario, help me reading the objective in Spanish. Uh, in this session, you will listen and practice a conversation about wedding, custom, adverbial clauses of time will be introduced. Thank you. Uh, Mario. En esta lección escucharán y practicarán una conversación sobre las costumbres en una boda. Cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo serán presentadas. Perfect, thank you so much. Bien, chicos, entonces les voy a poner este video ahorita de la clase con la supermodelo. Uy, qué chiquito se ve, no puede ser. Permítanme, vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer bigger. Permítanme. Lo pueden ver, chicos. No, ¿verdad? No, right? Yes, can I see? Yes, teacher. Oh, you can see it. Y lo logran leer. No, no, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, es que es el problema. Ay, no. Ni, ad ni agrandarlo. Ok. Permítanme. Voy a ver. Le voy a tomar captura a esto y ponérselos en un PowerPoint ahorita. Denme dos segundos, chicos. Vamos a probar. Si no, mañana va a tocar darles ese tema y hacer un switch. Chicos, por cierto, ahorita, ya que estamos viendo el tema de wedding, es la actividad que vamos a hacer. Eh, prepárense con alguna festividad que les guste, pero que no sean festividades tradicionales. O sea, no quiero Día de la Madre, no quiero... Christmas, sino que piensen en una, en una festividad u ocasión eh, diferente, ¿sí? Para hacer una actividad, quiero ver. No, chicos, no se va a ver. No puede ser, no puedo poder dar el tema hoy. Ok, guys, well, I'm going to change that. So, chicos, entonces vamos a hacer la actividad y voy a hacer un cambiecito del tema. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a tomar una festividad o celebración la que quieran. Puede ser una boda, un gender reveal, puede ser una despedida de soltero, una fiesta de divorcio, eh, puede ser un funeral, lo que quieran. Lo que no quiero es que me salgan con Christmas, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. Van a pensar en una eh, celebración o festividad y me van a hacer una mini presentation de qué es la festividad. 
Y dentro de eso me van a contar qué es la festividad, cuándo se hace o para qué se hace, eh, si nosotros la celebramos aquí o es de otro país. Y dentro de esa presentación me van a decir qué le cambiarían ustedes o qué le agregarían, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo a una wedding, porque yo eh, me encantan las bodas, yo a una wedding lo que le agregaría fuera que de regalo de recuerdito yo diera un recovery kit, una, un kit de, de no, no sé si se me dio la palabra en, en español, de recovery, como de recuperación. Entonces yo en mi recuerdo de mi boda daría, por ejemplo, un kit que lleve una aspirina, eh, lleve acetaminofén, lleve salutaris, cosas así. Rescue. Ese sería, ¿cómo? Rescue. Re yeah, something like that. Um, sería algo así. Entonces yo eso le agregaría a las bodas. Entonces ustedes van a hacer eso con alguna festividad u ocasión que tengan. ¿Se entiende la actividad? Yes. Yes, sí. Perfect. Yes, so it's 2018. You have until 2025 to make the presentation. Y todos van a pasar. Todos. Y me encienden la cámara. Yo no sé por qué no lo veo. Ah, yo no sé por qué no lo veo, chicos. Okay. So you have six minutes to make the activity. Eh, Le voy a preguntar a cada uno para que no se repita. ¿Cuál van a usar? ¿Sí? Dime, Luis. Sí, solo una pregunta. Me distraje por un mensaje que recibí. Eh, mandaron, tomaron captura al, al, a la actividad anterior de la del 3.7 ajá, del carnaval no, no le tomaron porque no la llené, no la llenamos ah, ok, ok, ajá, okay. Es okay. Uh -huh, tranqui. de acuerdo perfecto chicos, les voy a preguntar qué festividad van a escoger para que no se repita ok Luis, ¿cuál festividad elegirías tú? Voy a elegir celebración de una boda, pero yo como notario. No, ah. no, no como novio, sino como notario. Ok, good. Jorge. No tengo idea, teacher. Ay, no, Jorge. No, 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 no. Deme okay. tiempo. Ok, ok, you're going to be the last one. Osmin. Yes, Which one are you going to choose? What was I for her? Um, in my case, uh, Ramadan. Is Ramadan. Uh, okay, yeah. good. Perfect. Okay, prepárate con el Ramadan, entonces. Okay. David. David. Okay. Melissa. Uh, el Día de la Independencia. Independence Day, ok. Suyapa. Uh, baby Shower, dice. Baby Shower. Sullivan. Christmas. No, you can't say Christmas. Christmas is so easy. Change Christmas. that. <laughs> Change that. <Christmas. laughs> ok, he's like Christmas. No me van a sacar de Christmas. Ok. Mario. Teacher, uh, I choose... The funeral. A funeral, ok. Funeral. Vamos a ver qué le agregaría o qué le cambiaría el funeral. Mayra. Mayra. Okay. Estoy pensando el Día Internacional de la Tierra. International Earth Day. Very good. Ok, yeah, it's fine. David, are you here already? Yes. Uh, okay. Holy we... Innocent Day. What? Holy Innocent Day. April Fool. Día de los Inocentes. Yes. Okay, April Fool. Very good. Jorge, now you have it. El Día de la Lluvia Bendita. What is that? Oh my gosh, okay, creative. <laughs> I like it. Very good, chicos. Bien. Entonces, empecemos a trabajar. Y cualquier cosita, aquí estoy yo, ¿ok? Si tienen preguntas con algo. Recuerden, le tienen que agregar cuál sería el diferenciador de ustedes, qué le cambiarían, qué le agregarían, o qué, qué harían, ¿ok? So, get ready. Te
Ok, chicos, ya es hora. ¿Quién está listo? ¿Anyone ready? Yes, teacher. No, teacher, me falta tanto. Deme tantos minutos. No, teacher. Ok, ok. Me voy a dar cinco minutos más. Ok, cinco minutos. Voy a hacer buena. Okay, Perfecto. ¿Alguien ya terminó, chicos? Three more minutes, ¿ok? Three more minutes. Let's go. Okay, guys, hopefully that you're taking a long time. So I hope that you're going to also show me a picture or something. I know that Jorge is going to make a presentation in PowerPoint or Canvas for that that weird day that I have never heard before. So I am waiting for that, okay? You still have two minutes, guys, to get ready for your extremely presentation. Wait, one minute, <laughs> one minute. Y yo les recomiendo algo. Pidan ser el primero. El primero va a escoger el que va siguiendo y así va a tener ventaja. Okay, Jorge, you're ready, right? Perfect. Okay, chicos, bien, por favor, eh, abramos la cámara por respeto a sus compañeros y porque van a presentar. La única que me dio motivo fue Xiomara, los demás sí la pueden abrir. No me han escrito, entonces, por favor, por respeto a sus compañeros y a ustedes y a todos en la clase, la abrimos, por fin. Y ponemos atención, ¿sí? 
Thank you, Sullivan. Okay, Jorge, let's go. I want to hear you. Okay. My celebration is the day of the blessed rains. This celebration is in Tuban. Tuban is a country in Asia. They I celebrate the day of the blessed rain. They have one reason to the celebrate because they don't have habitual rains. Um, so they have one today they celebrate it is the first rains the astrology determine what day is the first rains is the day the the citizen running dancing walking under the rain someone take a shower okay very good Y es uh, este lugar que está aquí. Ok, you are like this. Very good. Uh, perdón, no, no sé si no te lo escuché, pero me dijiste que le cambiarías o que le agregarías tú, tu nota personal. Ah, um, 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 I will like to, to visit and walking under the rain for me. Uh, and Y le añadiría como comida. Food, you will add it food. food. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good, very good, Jorge. Thank you so much, chicos. Aplausos para Jorge. Aplaudan. Thank you, así me gusta. <laughs> Perfect. Jorge, choose the victim. Lo siento. <laughs> um... Luis. Ok, let's go, Luis. Ok, bueno, andaba buscando un fondo de pantalla, pero no me dices tiempo, Jorge. <laughs> Sorry, Luis. No, no hay problema. Ok, uh, celebration of a wedding. As a notary, uh, I like to celebrate wedding because I see very happy couples and I like to add all this then to stay together. I have seen wedding where they ask to be short. You sing and other with all the solemnity. At that time of the celebration, I like to be different in the sense of not being boring and that people are attend and enjoy the celebration. Good. What, what, what would you change or add? Sorry, ¿Qué le cambiarías, le agregarías o, o qué harías tú diferente tú para esa celebración? ¿Cuál sería tu marca personal? O sea, lo tengo en español, pero no, no, no lo tengo. It's fine. You say in Spanish and I'm going to help you in English. So you okay. Can. Una de las cosas que yo, que yo hago es, eh, al momento de la celebración, los, las parejas parecen tensos. Entonces, eh, trato de hacerles alguna broma, algún chiste relacionado al, al, lógicamente no en la solemnidad, sino o antes o después. Eh, para que agarren confianza, para que no uh -huh. vayan a decir que no, al momento de decir sí. Ok. <laughs> so, basically, what, we, uh, you, what we, you will do, it would be to be a little bit more funny with them and get a little bit of jokes, not inside the moment, but maybe after or before the moment, so you can feel like confidence between the, the couple and you and break the ice, the famous break the ice, right? Okay, Luis, thank, very thank good. You, very good. And how many weddings? Uh, when was your last wedding that you celebrated? Let's say. Okay. Um, bueno, vamos con una, con una mujer ahora. Um, Melissa Stephanie. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, yo se las voy a elegir. Okay, démosle. Melissa, démosle. Uh, okay. Um... My celebration is Independence Day. Uh -huh. uh, it's a celebrate on September 15th. 
And it's an important day to commemorate the country independence uh, from Spain. And I will add a, a costume contest in which participants can wear outfits allusive to the date and to Salvadoran culture. <laughs> okay. What would you change or add to the culture? A custom contest. A custom contest. How? Uh, participant can wear outfits allusive the, to the date and vestirse de the cosas de la bandera y cosas así. Oh, okay. I see. So you would do a custom uh, co contest, but regarding uh, specifically independence things, like maybe pupusas, someone yeah. dresses, curtido, salsa, or the flag and those things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to do that. Very good, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Melissa, choose a person. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mario? Okay, Mario, let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, I choose the funeral. Uh, many people think about the funeral like a ceremony. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, mm -hmm. uh, but for me, it's a celebration. In other cultures, cultures is a celebration because you remind that person and is the, the last uh, goodbye. But in, or in El Salvador, is different because uh, I assist mm -hmm. to many funerals and you can see many people uh, around spend the time uh, like, like a, I don't know what to say but the moment of the of the that person is crying, the son mm -hmm. or her children are crying, her sister, his brother or her father uh, uh, are crying, but the other person just is talking, thinking in other things. And for me, it's very unpolite and disgusting. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I would like to add uh, or change that that kind of celebration or, or how to the people uh, make the funeral because mm -hmm. uh, for me would would be great if each person in the funeral uh, passed in front and start to speak a few words about the dead person. Each person need to talk about the good moment or how that person reminds because uh, I think the dead person wants to know what do you think about uh, about about him or about her uh, also uh, you can say the last words to the that that person, and who and I I think that will be great because you respect the person and and you say that you what do you feel or what you think in this moment or how you remind that person. Mm -hmm. Only okay. Yes, very good, Mario. You got a very teacher. good point of view. Can we hold teacher? I, I, yes, tell me. Yo, Mario, eh, no. mi, mi cámara frontal no sirve, entonces estoy esperando sí. cambiar el 
Me, me dijiste ayer. Yeah, sorry. I forgot it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know again. Um, yes, Mario, you got a very good point of view. I like the part of uh, when you mentioned that uh, what the dead people would love to have, right? So I really like that part. You did a very good job and thank you so much for your explanation. I, I enjoy it. Mario, choose a person, please. Okay. Mm. David Antonio Ramos. David, let's go, David. Let's go, David. I want to hear you. Sorry, David. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, nada de esto es una penitencia. It's a prize, of course. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I check my festivity. I'm talking about the, the Holy Festival, the celebration of India. Mm hmm uh, the, the celebration of India uh, of Holy Festival is they celebrate the beginning of, of the spring in, and they remember the love of, of your God, Krishna. Mm -hmm. They fill the balloon with color paint with the celebration and they launch uh, other people's the balloons with paint and this celebration is all the streets in the in the cities and they use the color for uh for me the colors of the nature and they celebrate the the change of the of the cities uh, for the the more of the flowers with two colors and all mm -hmm. represent uh, the, the the new colors of the nature in the in the cities. Pretty and good. I improved the I improved the celebration with full fill the balloon with neon paint and finish the celebration in in a neon party in a disco. <laughs> yeah, it would be good actually because you know the part of the true colors they are is like so brilliant and so vibrant. So it would be good. It would be a good advice for it. Very good, David. You did a good job and thank you. David, choose a person, please. We have Osmin, Sullivan, Suyapa, and Mayra. Okay, I choose Osmin. Osmin, let's go. Good evening, everyone. I I speak uh, the culture the Arabic. Arabic. They celebration the Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Ramadan is a long a long uh, uh, celebration. It's is last from March twenty two to April twenty. In in this celebration, they uh, they come uh, come your family, your friend. Uh, they, uh, no sé cómo se dice, piden perdón. Um, they ask for forgiveness. It might be. They ask for forgiveness. Uh, the name of the Ramadan come to the the Arabic word R Ramad, which means scoring health. Muslim believe the in the six hundred ABC, the angel Gabriel appeared to the prophet uh, Muhammad, and they uh, uh, his. Uh, revelation, no sé, revelation, creo que reveló uh, the Quran. The Quran is a, a book uh, sagrado, no sé cómo decir. Uh, uh -huh. Es un libro sagrado. Uh, es, es como la Biblia de ellos. ¿no? Entonces, the, on this day, everyone asks for forgiveness for a new beginnings un nuevo comienzo para eh, pidiendo perdón por los errores que han tenido. Good. And what would you do different or add? 
Uh, for me, it's good. Uh, nada más de, de cultura, de su cultura, ellos, it's, it's much radical. Yeah, they're extremistic people. Yeah, I know. They are like yeah. very, like this, right? <laughs> good, Asmin, thank you. Good job. Choose a person, please. Um, Mayra. Mayra, are you here? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Teacher, este, mi cámara no la entiendo porque no sé si se ve acá, está bien oscuro porque este, se fue la energía por la lluvia. Entonces acá estoy con una lamparita y si la apago tranquila, no veo. Tranquila, tranquila, está bien, deja. tranquila. Por eso no la puedo entender. Ok, bueno, let's go. Este, eh, International Mother Ear Day celebrated on April 23. Eh, the objective is to eh, raise awareness eh, among people about the importance of caring for our planet. Um, las cosas que le cambiaría o no. Um, I will not take anything away from it because I believe that the importance of celebrating it is very important and what I will add to it will to be. Um, able to influence that this day be given more importance and find all the companies that are the ones uh, that generate the most destruction to the planet. Right. Very good. You got a very good point. Thank you, Mayra. I really like it, actually. Very, very good. Um, let's go right now. Well, Maria, Ma uh, Maria, choose a person. You have uh, Dinora or Sullivan. ¿Quién de los dos? O voluntario, ¿quién quiere pasar de los dos? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Um, my celebration is about the baby shower. Mm -hmm. And my baby shower um, will be in two weeks. And I select the mountain for the celebration. And I invite to my family, friends, and neighbor. And the people have walked for five minutes and after uh, take a pick up for the read to the lo local. Um, and first time, I give fruits and, and candies for, for each person. Mm -hmm. After, um, the person eat um, tupusas, tamales, and for the drawing, I uh, I prepare in horchata. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, other option for the dessert, I prepare in chatamuscas, chocobanano, and I hope the celebration during for three hours. And for, uh, and, and finally, um, I open the present for my baby That's yeah it. very good thank you Dinara. good job yeah Thanks. you know i like i like horchata guys that is the best thing about parties horchata de sanduichito hola con la champano hoy que ya miren en mi época todavía se da horchata hoy que ya estoy vieja aparentemente ya solo se dan con la champán de las chiquitas y salvacolas pero eso hace como mil años cuando yo estaba bichita y me hacían piñatas todavía bueno que okay. saben el año pasado que cumplí 20 me hicieron piñata mis papás me hicieron una piñata de barbie <laughs> so I'm still a girl let's say <laughs> good thank you Dinora and let's let's end with Sullivan who, find, who got Christmas and I even told him not Christmas but let me see <laughs> 
Okay. You know what is happening in Christmas. And so I propose to make it in a different way. For example, reduce the consuming, the things you don't, you know, it's not necessary for the people. And from the other way, you have to buy something can be useful for a people. Also, not just invite a family, share with persons you don't know, and also get food, puppies and cats, something like that, and help the, the animals around. And also do not use a traditional firework, please because it's too dangerous for us. So I um, think this is the different way to celebrate Christmas. Okay, and what would you, uh, what would be a useful gift for you if someone was giving it to you? For example, tools. I, I like to work with my hands, so it is, I don't know, mechanic things or, or electrical things, but tools is, is a good present to me. So you would prefer, let's say, maybe tools than a bus with fruits, candies, and those things. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think that too, guys. Uh, most of the times, I think that I would say man's in a general way, por mi experiencia. <laughs> Siento que a veces los hombres lo que hacen, chicos, es que como que se les olvida que a veces las mujeres sí necesitamos cosas útiles que nos sirvan. Entonces, a veces eh, me pasaba de que póngale, me regalaban, 50 rosas y yo me quedaba como sí, esas están lindas, pero but what, right? I mean what uh, this is going to, to be destroyed in two weeks so you you would have to spend the money in other things, right? You should have, uh, you could buy me I don't know, three t-shirts or five pair of shoes, I don't know so I, I get the, your point and I love the thing that you said regarding meeting new people to not be only with the same people as every every year, right? Maybe going to a party is like New Year's parties and meeting other people. That is something that here in Santa Ana is a place that does that. There is a place that is called Las Secas, and they invite a lot of people so you can meet new people in every New Year. That is like a tradition that they have. Very good, guys. Um, well, thank you all of us for participating in the activity. Uh, it was very good to hear all of you. I know, guys, that most of the times you might get a little bit bored when you hear all, all everybody speaking. However, it's important for me that I need to hear all of you, right? Necesito, y en esta semana, que es un tema súper fácil, que ya lo, ya lo llevamos, y sobre todo que es un tema que no le va a costar, de hecho, hoy era un tema de carnival de celebrations. So we can do this kind of activity so you can practice. Guys, what are we going to do? Sullivan, dime. Yes, teacher. With the things in in the in the platforms, I had trouble to uh, complete the the answers. I don't know if someone here could be completed. Uh, I couldn't, so I don't know if we can do that. Again, ya lo hizo, chicos. Someone already did it. No. Okay, Sullivan, what we can do is that because if, if there is a mistake in the platform, send me the screenshot. So I'm going to send it to my boss so they okay. can check what is the issue or how are the okay. answers supposed to be, okay? Okay, perfect. Perfect, thank you. Guys, as I was telling you, it's kind of good for me to do in this kind of activities because we are working on writing because some of you were writing you practice the listening of your classmates, your speaking, and also your comprehension of what you were saying. So that is very good, guys. I wanted to know, I want to know what do you think about the activity? How you felt? This was the first time when we were doing presentation. So how do you felt? Tell me. Only one, guys. I'm going to choose. Do you want me to choose? Okay. No, me. Tell me. In a particular way and the things Mario said about the the funerals I think is a to be a mindset to change the things so it's a very particular form to think and also about the Jorge said about the the celebration very interesting because maybe we are used to to know about our country not think outside not think about the other a type of celebration in other countries. So I think it's very, very interesting knowing that thing. I love that too. You know, it's very good, guys, because you learn. And we also learn from each other. Most of the times in English, we don't have to only be is, uh, listening to a teacher. 
and you see in the, the board, right? With grammar points and vocabulary, most of the things. You also need to learn culture and how to use that culture in English. So I like that too. Yeah, I like that most of you were out of the comfort zone. For example, Luis told me the point of view of a, of a lawyer, not as us, right? As, as our guests or something. So that is very good, guys. Y cuéntenme, ¿cómo se sintieron con el hecho de estar presentando? De estar buscando la información y todo. ¿Cómo se sintieron? Okay, I'm going to ask. Uh, David, how you felt? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, speaking for me is so difficult. Uh, you always uh, uh, put me in uh, in a hard situation, but I try to complete the 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 uh, homework and the complete uh, the, and participate with with all your activities for for obligate me uh, to practice and my object my objective for this class is, is improve my my speaking because it's so difficult for me and and you you can you can you can do it uh, okay, I participate in, in classes I I never participate in classes and 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 I I, I always I always try to not participate and mm. <laughs> and I and I like it and I, and I like it I try to I try to to participate more and and you motivate me uh, I'll participate and I Thank like you. that too. I like that too. And I, and, uh, and I hope that uh, in the rest of these weeks, I'm going to see you participate in so much more. Hope so. Let's, let's pray for you. Very good. Thank you. Luis, I want to hear you. Interesante en el sentido de que en cuanto a cuando uno redacta, pues hay algunas palabras que, que pienso, cómo se escribe, cómo se dice. Y entonces, aunque en mi caso, pues ni modo, me toca abocar al, al traductor, pero es una palabra más que voy aprendiendo y que, que me sirve, pues, porque solo la, la, la clase normal sin interactuar y todo, pues, ah, lo que dice la teacher y esto está bien aquí, sino que en este caso, pues, eh, aprendemos y como le digo alguna palabra que yo no sé y que tengo que redactar pues lo busco pero esa palabra yo sé que ya no se me olvida entonces yes. pues... I like that too very good and very good that you're getting more vocabulary guys that is uh, a thing that we want to to make with you Jorge yes yes porque nunca te gusta hablar entonces Jorge no teacher I am working in this moment really Yes, I am answer the customer. Okay, for me it's very interesting because I can to practice all the words and different information. For example, for me I have problem when I speak. I I for me is very difficult explain in English or in Spanish. Is <laughs> the because I am shy all the time. Yes, you know, oh, guys. No, mm -hmm. no shy is quiet. Quiet. Quiet, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Quiet. You see, guys, Um, as I told you the first class, my objective is not only to be showing you grammar things. I know grammar is so, so important. I'm totally sure. That's why I follow the program and I always try to However, si me pongo solamente, chicos, a llenar la plataforma, lo loco, me van a pasar dos cosas. Bueno, tres. Uno, se me van a dormir porque se me van a aburrir de estar viendo la plataforma. Dos, solo se van a quedar con lo que dice la plataforma y no me van a tratar de buscar más. 
Y tres, no van a tener presión. O sea, no van a sentir la presión que sienten ahorita. Entonces, se los digo porque hay algunos compañeros que a veces yo tengo el feedback de que me dicen, mira, teacher, pero es que mejor quédese con lo de la plataforma. Y, o sea, no se complique. O sea, no nos esté poniendo más actividades, no nos ponga a hacer presentaciones porque qué hueva. Pero eh, a mí me gusta mucho porque practican. No es que yo sea huevona que quiera hacer toda la clase así esperando que ustedes hablen, ¿verdad? No. <laughs> What I want you to do is to try to speak. I really want you to try to speak using the grammar, the vocabulary. Y aunque no se den cuenta, siempre utilizamos el mismo vocabulario de la clase. Lo estamos impartiendo acá en festividades y demás. Para siempre seguir la misma secuencia. Entonces, yo espero, espero, espero que después de estas cuatro semanas juntos, a algunos se les haya quitado la penita para hablar. Algunos me digan, mira, teacher, yo con usted no aprendí gramática o no aprendí mucho, pero aunque sea estas palabras, sí me las aprendí gracias a usted. Y si ustedes me dicen que aprendieron y que de verdad se les va a quedar algo, that's what, uh, that is my goal. Eso es lo que, lo que quiero con ustedes, que de verdad aprendan, ¿sí? Y chicos, no crean de que estaban poniendo la atención a sus compañeros por gusto. You're going to have homework, of course. Van a acordarse, espero yo que le hayan puesto atención a las celebraciones de sus compañeros y a lo que dijeron. Porque ustedes me van a mandar un audio en, eh, haciendo speaking de una de las celebraciones de sus compañeros, no la de ustedes, de lo que se acuerdan que dijeron, porque ustedes, todo lo que no hablaron, estaban poniendo atención, right? So you're going to send me an audio in WhatsApp, less than one minute, okay, it's fine, less than one minute, menos de un minuto, me mandan el audio de WhatsApp, hablándome de la celebración de quien quiera. Me van a decir, okay, teacher, eh, por ejemplo, yo hablé de Ram Ramadán, creo que se pronuncia, Uh, pero te voy a eh, te voy a mandar un audio de que de la celebración que dijo Jorge y me manda el audio ok, reglas para el audio chicos, me lo pueden mandar por privado o al grupo, solamente antes de empezar el audio se identifica teacher soy tal persona y me lo manda ok, y no puede ser de su, de su celebración y yo sí me voy a acordar de qué dije <ríe> ok, so no, no, no trampa chicos eh, ¿Hasta cuándo tienen para mandármelo? Les voy a dar hasta el jueves, antes de la clase. Sí, para que tengan tiempecito, porque sé que están trabajando y están ocupados. ¿Preguntas, chicos, con la clase o con la tarea? Ok, Xiomara, si trata de mandármelo al WhatsApp, porfa, sí, para que te lo revise. Please. Thank you. Guys, any question or something else that you want to say? Osmin, tell me. Yeah, yes, teacher. Uh... La, con la cuestión del ejercicio ese que pasamos, que no lo llenó, pues a mí en mi caso yo ya intenté un montón de formas y no me lo aceptan. Yo creo que hay otros compañeros que al igual que yo, no sé si de repente pues hay alguien que ya, que ya lo hizo, pues tal vez nos puede orientar porque yo ya intenté de mil maneras y no me tira sí. ninguna correcta. Sí, si quieren chicos, es lo que hagamos lo que le había dicho a Sullivan. Mándenme la captura de todo y de las posibles opciones y que les dé error. Mándenme lo, lo, que, eh, lo que puedan ahora en la noche, tratando de hacerlo ahorita al salir de clase. Yo se lo mando a mis jefes para que mis jefes me digan qué, qué procede, porque no sé si es error de la plataforma o qué es lo que quieren. Oigan, ah, Luis, ¿tú perfecto. me vas a decir algo? Sí, teacher. Eh, con respecto a lo, del, lo que íbamos, íbamos a hacer hoy y que lo dejó para mañana, ¿sigue para mañana? Mañana sí. Mañana sí, y, porque ya lo, ya lo tengo casi terminado. Ok, y este, en cuanto a eso, ¿es algo bastante parecido a lo que hicimos hoy? Mm, totally different. Totally different. Ok, en el momento es que usted nos va a explicar qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Lo voy a pensar, depende. Ah, okay. Si estamos, okay. si se las termino de hacer bien difícil, se lo voy a mandar desde ahora para que se hagan una idea. Pero okay. no creo. Ok, pero sí, mañana sí está la actividad que habíamos hecho ahora. ¿Sí? Ok, de acuerdo. Perfect. Very good, guys. Any other question or something else? No? No, teacher. Perfect. Okay, guys. So if we don't have any other uh, question or something else, it has been all. Please send me the information so I can write that to my boss and ask the information, right? So it has been a pleasure to see you. I'm going to see you tomorrow. And please uh, check the chat. Porque si no lo hago mañana la actividad para ver los motivos, les aviso ahora en la noche, ¿sí? Y hoy les mando la santa a esa conversación también. Para mañana, porque mañana lo tenemos. Very good, guys. So it has been a pleasure. Take care and have a nice evening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.